Hello everyone, it's Ruvonic Zombie. Welcome back to House of a Thousand Doors Family Secrets. So, first thing I want to address, if you notice that the sound is not as booming loud, it's because I finally figured out how to um, adjust the levels, adjust the settings, and um, a fun fact for you guys, just because a microphone is more expensive doesn't mean it's of a higher quality. So, ironically, I'm using uh, an inexpensive microphone right now I know it definitely sounds like it but uh, it's it sounds much better than the muffled um, muddy microphone I was using that was twice as expensive ironically but quite a few people online said uh, for that model I was using a blue snowball um, ice not just a blue snowball but a blue snowball ice and quite a few people said that um, despite what the blue snowball itself, the ice version of that same model, uh, doesn't, doesn't hold up that well. So if you guys have any suggestions for microphones um, that are not of studio price, pretty much as if it's not over a thousand dollars, please let me know. Okay, so we just put a new portrait up here on the wall we have a few items we still okay quite a few items we still have a lighter and a firecracker um but let's see where to next bunch of places but let's start the girls room i believe there's piano that there we go we can put uh the piano keys on Okay, we're still missing number five. Go to the gallery. Oh wait, there was something we could grab. It was um this. What's this? Oh, that's where you hold the sheet music. I'm used to having something like here. You you put the sheet music here. Okay. Okay, go to the gallery. And what can we do? Oh. same time she still looks really creepy and it's not just the ghost thing her, her portrait was also creepy at the same time did you guys notice that despite it's a child this is a child's arm this is not this is an adult's hand it's kind of weird okay history of the painting Amanda said her face appeared on the painting and that she was crying then fire burst out of the canvas and consumed everything. But how can she be talking about the same painting? The girl in the painting is smiling. Guess I need to destroy the painting. I'm hoping this is a case of... Um... You know, like... Artistry or story... Or the story's kind of messed up... And it's not like the girl and her father are hiding something. So the objects in still life are missing. Okay, there's the apple we've been carrying this whole time. Mm. 
something here. A flower. Whoa! Little girl, that is lava! Or a portal to hell! And that's a piano key! What is your house built on top of? Is that hell? Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna say that it is. The fact that it took, um, a firestone some weird symbols and open that to open that up I'm gonna say that's hell and look at this look at this right here that is definitely a portal to hell that's a painting of the Venetian Lagoon art like that costs a fortune Okay, so, besides the portal to hell, where else do we need to go? Back to the gallery, let's go to the attic. Need a key. We have a key. Oh. Watermill. Yeah, that's his journal. Don't have anything to remove that. Let's go back to the gallery. I think we did everything with that. And that we already broke. I should finish the still life for the girl. She's been waiting for it for so long. Does that go here? No. It's that plate thing that goes there. But we can return to Amanda's room with a key. Hey, now we just need sheet music. Still something here we can do, apparently. Oh. Huh. There we go. Portrait. And a star key! That's really cool to have that next to the dollhouse. Okay. So we have a portrait to put up on the wall. And something else to open up in the cellar. And a hidden object scene. Let's do that before we open up with the star key since it's already next to it. And there it is. Okay, we have a hacksaw. Get to the star key. Ah, there's the pigeon head. And newspaper. Painting survives several fires. The painting, the crying girl. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is based out of um, the crying boy, like I told you. Uh, has a new owner. People say the portrait is cursed as every home in which it has hung has inexplicably, inexplicably gone down in flames. Fires have already destroyed two private art collections and the storeroom at Piazza Gallery, yet the painting has survived each inferno as though it's charmed. What's more, its value has increased with each fire. Okay, and she is crying. Move back to the girls' room, to Amanda's room, and put 
be here. And there's a the sheet music. Okay. So what are we about to do with the piano? Play the correct melody on the piano. Okay. That is five, six, three, seven, four. Five, six, three, seven, four. Okay. Hmm. It's a portrait, and there's the correct order. Okay. Figurines. I saw the same figurines in the attic, but I don't know what, what they mean. I just need to remember their positions. Okay. Let me go to attic. Do this. There we go. Two of them were already in the right spot, and why are they glowing red? Okay. Gonna learn the correct positions of the gondolier's hands. Never be able to guess what they should be. There's a painting like that, I think. But let's do the hidden object scene. There it is. Okay, we have a gondola. Ah, that's what, went, that's what belonged in the painting. an object scene there, but let's put this in the painting. Ah, over here. Okay. And go back to the portrait room. Take it, this is a portrait of her father. What's in the attic? Uh, let me see. Use the hacksaw. There we go. We have an hourglass. Okay. And go to the object scene. There it is. Okay. We have needle and thread. Okay. Something we can do here. There we go. No, it's not one of them. Still have the roaring portal to hell. Okay, back to the gallery. What else? Cut this with a knife. Yes, we can. Okay, we have a flower. And we still have a knife. There we 
go. Paint the still life. To paint the still life, click on the desired color on the palette. Then click on the correct spot on the painting. Okay. Okay. You have a lot of faith in me. Okay, the orange became a brown. Oh, okay. Out of the canvas, using our good old knife. We have a still life. And we still have our knife. This is the frame for the cursed painting. Okay. Oh, oh, I see it. I see it now. It's like glowing. Okay. Can we give this to her? Thank you, ma'am. That scary painting won't hurt me or the other kids anymore. A powerful wizard created it in order to collect sad feelings and tears, all of which made the painting even more powerful. There's only one way to defeat the dark magic. Throw the painting and its frame into the well of the eternal flame. So throw it back in hell. Gotcha. So we got two things. How to destroy the painting. I was right! That cursed painting is almost impossible to destroy as it protects itself. But I have to try because it will start another fire. Mana says I need to place the painting back in, back in its frame. If this girl isn't Amanda, her name is Juliet. In its frame and then throw it into the fiery well. Let's do it! She remembered this drawing. It might come in handy. Is that right? Yeah, her name's Juliet. Amanda is this girl, is the daughter of Simon and Chloe. Pretty sure that's a typo. Okay. So, we need to go get. Okay, I guess we first got to rearrange this. The gun shows the forearms of the gondolier to correctly position his arms. Okay. One's going up and one's going down. There we go. Oh, it kind of auto-corrected me. <laughs> it's another portrait. We have a solvent. A letter. Signor De Franco, our patience is not eternal. You haven't paid your rent in six months. This is your last warning. If you don't pay what you owe us, we'll have no choice but to evict you and charge you a late fee of 50 coins. Okay. Okay. So, let me put this on the wall. So I take it the game ends once we have everybody's portrait, and we're getting pretty close. Uh, what parts? Okay, we've done this, and this was the train. This was the... No, this was the sculptors. Okay. So we still haven't 
But we still haven't done this, and I see a scarecrow here. Okay. Looks like we have one more special location to go to. Need to remove the la second layer of paint. Place the painting in the frame and destroy this wretched piece of art. Okay. Looks like it was painted over. Oh. There's no doubt of what my eyes can see. That's a portrait of a crying girl. I need to cut the canvas in order to remove the painting. First painting. Okay. We still have our knife. I keep saying that because a lot of times in stories, once you use an item, it's gone for good. But the fact we're continuously using our knife is a really good thing. Okay. Oh, place it back in the frame. I take it when that's what we need our needle and thread for. Yep. First painting. Okay. And throw it back into hell. Or the well of eternal flame. We did the thing. Oh, there's another portrait. Sorry about your room, Amanda. I've already seen this. Oh, so it was Uncle Gabriel that asked her to um, put a smile on the painting because it was crying. Okay. Let's go back to the house again. We haven't we haven't done that in a while. Ah, oh, I'm glad we did. Hey, an object scene. Let's go through. Same one's still there. Oh! Kate, I'm glad to hear you found common ground with my friends and colleagues, Amanda, Chloe, and Sammy. Yes, we work together. Although we have the same last name, Chloe is not my wife and Sammy and Amanda are not our kids. Do you believe skills to perform magic can be passed from one person to the next? Master Gabriel brought us here so we could complete our missions. There are more people in this house, but you haven't met them yet. The house and its guests are constantly changing. You should decide whether or not you want to stay here. Will you sacrifice your life in order to remain with us? Think it over. You know, this is a pretty cool house, but it's also pretty weird. But then again, th our life in the real world wasn't exactly exciting. Okay, Crimson Key. ghostly house. I begin to understand what's going on around here. The people I've met in the house are not family members, but colleagues. They live here and help lost souls find, find peace. A mansion is a tool with which one can open passages into spiritual realms. Into the, spi into the spiritual realm. Gabriel brought me here in hopes I'd stay. I haven't made up my mind, though. That's a big decision. Okay. So our mission, if you guys remember, uh, at the beginning was to help our grandmother bring uh, honor back to her family's name, to the Fox sisters. Living room. Put out the flames. Do I have anything? 
Oh, this is the key to here. But let's do that hidden object scene. Bath sponge. Now we just need a stocking and it's right there. Okay, what do we get? Lantern. Okay. So let's go back downstairs. Nope, not back there. Here. Okay. What I've seen in this game, we saw this at the very beginning of the game, but after what I've seen so far in this game, this now all looks really cool. Okay. Okay, so we have that to deal with, but we will deal with that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!